much, Mark. Now, in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, Kelly is back and we're talking pet insurance and what we need to be looking for before taking out a policy. Morning, Kelly. Good morning. Now, working in the vet industry, you must have, have you seen an increase in people getting insurance for their pets? I'd like a lot more people in New Zealand to get insurance. We're definitely well behind the rest of the world at the moment. Really? So, yeah, so stats wise, we're looking at about 4 to 7% of um, pets insured. Really? Is it still seen as a bit of a fancy option? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, some people still see it as a luxury and I think as well because we're quite lucky in this country to have um, healthcare you know for humans mm. uh, subsidized then a lot of people kind of don't really get into the habit of thinking about insurance and like other places in the world it's like going to the dentist for, for your pets all the time yes. that's what the cost is <laughs> uh, there's quite a few insurance companies um, so what should we be looking for when we're taking a insurance policy out in our pets? Yeah, a couple of different things. First one I always tend to advise to look for things like um, are they covered for life because you don't want to end up with a possible exclusion 12 months down the line. Um, also looking at things like you know the breed of animals so we can actually insure for rabbits as well. A lot of people are not aware of that but you really? can. Yes. Um, also your horses as well as dogs and cats. So when it comes to dogs it's looking at um, are they just breed specific things to be looking for such as is there a slight higher premium. Uh, certainly me having a miniature dash on, mine are a little bit higher. Really? So you do yeah. get pre different premiums for different kinds of you dogs? You can do, yeah, depending on what their potential could be, hereditary conditions they can get. Uh, yeah. Alsatians yeah. with their hip problems. Yeah, that's right. Um, Dachshunds with their backs and oh, spines. Yes. So, you know, so it's all those kind of things to look out for as well. So what if you have a young animal, do they need to get insurance from when they're, from their, when they're pups? Or? I would definitely say yes. Uh, numerous times we see people come in, especially in the emergency um, after hours work. And, you know, usually it's puppies or, or even kittens that have got into bother. So, mm -hmm. you know, they've either jumped off a chair broke their leg um, you know it's not always about the sickness accidents do happen and, and well, we do. forget that they yeah. do I accidentally this is awful but I ran over our puppy um, she's fine now this is years and years, and years ago but it was a awful experience for everyone and it's common it's so common and yeah. it was costly it yeah. was a holiday in Fiji but it was yeah. obviously worth it because it was our darling little <laughs> yeah. pepper uh, what about is there an age cutoff for your pet not to be insured it really again depends on the company so it's not necessarily there'll be an age cut off but it might be again that your premiums will be a little bit higher mm -hmm. bearing in mind the older the animal the more they could potentially get some form of, of illness and um, that could be an ongoing thing with old age just like people insurance really isn't it the premiums <laughs> get higher as you get a bit older why would you cover your bunny I'm just curious because what a bunny cost you that much money over the years of its life yeah, I mean, the thing is nowadays, again, like even people, you know, our pets are living longer. We are looking after them so much more. And, you know, a lot of conditions that rabbits do get can actually be helped and, and cured. And so, yeah, definitely. I mean, veterinary bills can be costly if, if we're doing what we need to mm -hmm. do. Is mm. excess, I mean, what sort of excess are you looking at when you make a claim? Uh, again, to completely varies. So I wouldn't like to put an exact figure on due to the fact that it depends on the type of um, policy you have. Some people only insure just for accidents. Mm -hmm. Others do accident and illness, which I would recommend. Um, so again, it, yeah, it depends on if you go for a kind of a bronze, silver or gold Read type the fine tier. print in the, yeah. uh, in the insurance yeah. policy as well. Yeah. So even though you're a vet nurse, have you insured your pet? I certainly have. So recently, uh, Sizzle, my little miniature Dachshund has been in and out of the specialists and um, so so far that's cost me six thousand dollars and I'm Ooh. very lucky uh, that he is insured even though I'm in the industry mm. and for me my, my excess actually was only a hundred dollars so that's oh, wow. all I've had to pay so the rest of the money I'll get back which is uh, yeah a good feeling be like a taking a holiday with that money okay well for all the information regarding pet insurance uh, it's in the pet doctors pet insurance information pack either pop into your local pet doctors or go to their website nzpetdoctors.co.nz Kelly thank you so much thank you. and now to our pet of the week congratulations to Holly $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner Tracy Byerly and if you'd like to enter your pet and it can be any type of pet too, just upload a picture to our Facebook page. Oh, that is gorgeous! Oh, what a good dog sitting there for that picture.